Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your reading. Cancer, thank you for all the support you've been showing the channel. I really appreciate it. Let's get started, Cancer. Okay, first I'm going to pull you a card from the uh, Archangel Raphael deck to see what comes up. These are healing messages. Let's see what Archangel Raphael wants you. Okay. Have faith. This says, Dear Jesus and Archangel Raphael, thank you for boosting my faith so that I may trust in miracles. Have faith and trust in miracles is what's coming out for you. Okay. Um, cancer. I don't know what else I'm going to call y'all. See, what messages do we have for cancer? So something is working out. It just may not seem like it. Expect a miracle. Also, if you need some healing, call on Archangel Raphael and Jesus. That's what you um, would like to do. Great healers. Cycle increase. This is a good card to come out for you, Cancer. So, the cycle card, this increase card means that things are going to um, pick up. Where th You may have had a a time where you're experiencing a lot of losses, Cancer, but things are going to pick up. A lot of blessings coming in. Let's see what else we can get for you. Have faith too. Believe in miracles, especially with these two cards coming in. Up, Things are actually going to start moving. You see this light coming down on us? The divine blessings and guidance is coming. I know it might be hard to see. But it's just some light shining down on this beautiful house here. Let's see what we got for you. Eight of Swords. You're feeling stuck, not knowing what to do with the King of Wands. There goes that increase with the uh, Chariot. That's your card, Cancer. And then the King of Swords. Six of Wands. Victory. Overcoming this feeling of stuck. Make sure not feeling like hell back repressed or anything like that. This could be a relationship because now I have the king and queen of wands. Very passionate relationship too. A lot of conflict in regards to it. Look, that go that new beginning. This is someone you love. This could be you too. A lot of love and energy with the queen of cups. You guys maybe haven't been talking, but while you haven't been talking, there's been a lot of healing going on with this relationship. And you've been trying to figure out what can I really do to kind of make this go forward. What you can do is have faith and just know that things are moving forward. Cancer. There was a lot that was kind of holding you or this person back with this eight of swords. And a lot of it was like thoughts, a way of thinking, something like that. And that's what that's what needed to be overcame or overcome, however you want to put it. <clears throat> Look, that's what I said, the king of wands with the two of wands, not knowing what to do. What can I do to make things move forward? <clears throat> Let me just get you some clarifiers with this, because this is pretty much straight to the point. You have a new beginning coming. Have, and this is another card to talk about trust and faith, the uh, fool card. Going for a new beginning, leaving the past behind, all this conflict and stuff about this new beginning is because it's a lack of trust there or faith just not knowing what to do a lot of uh, those harsh energies ended with this ten of swords there was a lot you needed to release some things may have ended all of a sudden due to a backstab or betrayal but then underneath there you have the wheel of fortune so that means that things are moved working out and it's working out in your favor from the divine let's see i just seen it I'll just wait and get you some clear, uh, clarify cards. Uh, ain't about right. Hold on, Cancer. Okay. Watching, looking, stalking. So this is so, focusing out, perception. 
you needed to change your perspective or perception on things. That's what kind of kept things stuck. Maybe watching and stalking. Somebody was watching and stalking you. Or maybe you was just seeing things in a different way, not really seeing things clearly. Needs time, take time. In time cycles, time to heal, progress. So you guys been doing a lot of healing. And that's why you've been like where things were unclear and what to do. It's because it's time to heal so things can move forward. Someone likes you. Romance is booming, fun, and flirting one to date. So now you're going to see a uh, progression. Someone, is you got um, the chariot and the increased card. So there's like something moving forward. This could be something new for some of you because you got, because you wasn't talking, you got the Grim Reaper. This relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life with the King of Swords. So someone was acting cold and distant. You could have thought this was over. But now you're going to see things move forward. And then <clears throat> coffin endings bring new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, transition. Overcoming that. That got an outdated thinking. Some A way of thinking. <clears throat> Oh, plan something over in your head, Eight of Swords energy. That's so this is what, what was kind of slowing things down. It was time to heal because things kept being replayed over and over. And that's why you didn't, you or this person didn't know what to do. Maybe they were thinking about the past a lot. Deeply hurt, sad, separated, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. That's that healing that needed to, to kind of take place. And that's why it was a time, a cycle where you were kind of like in a fork in the road. You have the star card here, which symbolized that healing too. Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. And abundance at the bottom of the deck. So you got abundance and increase. Two cards that things, that speaks of things going right the way you would like them to. Someone is going to uh, email or message you. You have that here and here. When this person messages you, it's to heal stuff too, to like to kind of get things to a better place. Even if you feel like you're in a place where you no longer want this relationship, don't want any second chances, you could have the conversation just to, to, to kind of like put a close and put it into this cycle, put let everything, you know, be where it's at. Because you will receive what you need. I feel like this for some of you, this is a deep connection you had. Where someone left you probably for another party or something like that. For those of you who is not the one from the past, have faith because there will be someone that comes in that you, you guys are going to, you, you guys are meant for each other. But for others of you, this is someone you already know and you guys are going to take like something new. Divine, please clarify this King of Swords with the Grim Reaper. Five of uh, Cups. For some of you, something could definitely be over. There's a lot of regret about this, but for some of you, this is definitely a soul connection. And lessons needed to be learned. And that's why it was that time apart. But there's a lot of clarity that was gained here. If things have been moving slow, it's because of those lessons. That go the King of Cups there. So you got the Five of Cups, the Lovers, and the Sun card. Hmm. This person got clear about something during regret. Whoever this person is. Clarify this five of cups, please. For those in regards to this connection, soul connection divine. You got not enough date. So this person wants to start over. It may start off just a date, getting back out there, meeting someone new, 
this person felt like they, that they wasn't enough. The fear and ego was an issue here. Jealousy, but this person regrets that. All right, this could be your energy too. For those of you, it's not a soul connection and it's not somebody you're destined to be with. But who, for some of you, this is somebody you're destined to be with, definitely. And they're clear about that now too. They didn't know at first. And that's where this regret came in. Because they kind of treated you a little bad because they, they felt like they wasn't enough. So they kind of projected it on you. It was an outdated thinking. It could be finances or something like that that kind of had them feeling like that. Maybe with date not enough and date, they felt like they wasn't enough and they pushed you away so you can find someone else. Feeling like that maybe you were they you were too good for them. Marrying each other, but both of you guys are marrying each other. So both of you guys want the same thing. Think about each other a lot. Both of y'all stuck in y'all head. Both of y'all stalking each other. Clearly you watching the video. They probably watching your social media. But things are ending so it can bring in new growth. Okay, and something about this outdated thinking that needs to change. And once it does, you'll know exactly you are. This person will know exactly which way to go. But right now is not the time. That's why the divine is saying have faith because you've been going through a cycle of healing. And once this is your life will be very abundant. So keep a um, positive mindset because there's a sense here of you losing faith with both of these cards. Okay, because you're manifesting exactly what you want and you're going to see it increase soon. As soon as the cycle close out, okay, Cancer? This is what I have for... Oh, let me get you a, a whisper of love and then we'll close out the reading. I was going to shut you out just like that. Oh. This is just for Cancer. So you finna, after this cycle close out, you finna receive a lot of abundance in your next cycle, Cancer. So you definitely, you have much to celebrate right now. You see, you see these dollar bills she's throwing up. So some of you guys, it's going to be increasing finances and increasing love. And the whole, I just feel like it's feeling better also because you've been stuck in this energy. So you're going to feel a lot better. It's just going to be a. A lot. That's what's lacking here, too, is a lot of emotion. So maybe it's just been like, I don't know. All we literally have is swords and wands. Hmm. No emotions, no pentacles. Listen with your heart. Are You are listening but need to hear with a loving heart. Okay. Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always be, always can consider them. Okay, Cancer, this is what I have for you. Hope it helps. Bye.